China says there's absolutely no need for cell towers anymore. I wonder what SpaceX Starlink thinks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and that is it. So good, clean, refreshing. Hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today's the technology day. We're going to be talking about SpaceX Starlink. We're also going to be talking about China and uh, their new message to everyone, I guess, globally, that cell towers are no longer required. This is something that's really big. I've been talking about this for months, and I think that is going to end up being a very, very big thing. I said many times in the past that I do believe that the cell companies out there, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, all of these big wigs, um, they're gonna go the way of the dinosaur, all right? Now, they can still shuck and jive and try to figure out new ways to make money or to rape us, um, but, with the cell towers and cell phones, I think it's just not going to happen any longer or not in the, let's say, not so distant future, let's say. And according to what China says here is that the cell towers are no longer needed. That is a really big statement. So I was reading an article, I think it was in India or the UK or someplace. I read articles from everywhere. And the reason being is if you read everything coming out of the US, well, you're gonna get a US spin on things, right? If you read everything that's coming out of, let's say Moscow, you're gonna have a specific Russian spin on everything, right? So I like to read stuff everywhere and then give you my interpretation or my commentary on it. What do I think, right? So I wanna get into this a little bit. I'm gonna read some of this article for you. I think that it's really, really interesting. And I wanna know what you think about this whole cell thing going on, right? I did a few videos on this already and I think that it's, Kind of coming to a head at this point and with this article stating what it does and what china their government is saying it might actually be the case so before we get into this article i just want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my ebooks check them out they're free go to jcristina.com forward slash books also if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work there'll be like a thank you button right down here you can click on that give a dollar or two if you like if not that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you enjoy this content, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are, thank you. Appreciate that. Click over here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. Also, if you want more Starlink content, Starlink specific, I have over 260 videos now just on Starlink. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, all this kind of stuff. Check out my Starlink playlist right over here. And finally, if you're looking for a VPN, check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is J Christina. If you use that at checkout, you'll get 15 additional percent off. Or you could just simply go to the URL jchristina.com forward slash VPN. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash VPN. So now that all the housekeeping is done, let's get into this article. And then once again, I'll give you some of my commentary on top of it. And finally, I wanna hear from you down below in the comment area. So it starts out by saying, Chinese scientists achieved a groundbreaking milestone with the world's first satellite, Tian Tong, enabling direct smart phone calls. Now this is phone calls. We're not talking about text now or SOS or anything like that. Direct smartphone phone calls. The Tian Tong 1 series in geosynchronous orbit covers the Asian Pacific as well as supporting brands like Huawei, Honor, and many other smartphones. China leads in satellite communication, bridging global communication gaps. Interesting there. In a landmark achievement for satellite communications, Chinese scientists have developed the world's first satellite capable of enabling smartphone calls directly without the need of ground-based infrastructure. No more cell towers, right? Named Tian Tong, which translates to connecting with heaven. The initiative draws inspiration from a biblical story of the Towers of Babel, aiming to bridge communication gaps rather than create them. 
The Tiantong-1 satellite series, which began with its first launch on August 6, 2016, now includes three satellites in geosynchronous orbit at 36,000 kilometers, covering the entire Asian Pacific region. This breakthrough came to fruition when Huawei Technology released the world's first smartphone supporting satellite calls in September of the previous year, leading the way for other manufacturers to do the same. These technological advancements have proven invaluable, particularly in emergency situations where traditional communication networks are compromised. For instance, during the 6.2 magnitude earthquake in Gongsu province on December 18th, affected individuals can maintain contact with the outside world thanks to the satellite call functionality available through their smartphones. Quote, direct satellite connectivity for mobile phones has become a new development trend and satellite communication will gradually become popular among the general public. This is what was noted by the engineers over at the China Academy of Space Technology. Their work, detailed in the Aerospace Science and Technology Journal, highlights the overcoming of significant technological challenges related to passive intermodulation, or PIM, which can degrade the quality of satellite calls. By addressing the PIM issue, the team has enabled exceptionally sensitive reception capabilities in the Tiantong satellites, allowing them to pick up signals from standard smartphones without the need for external antennas. This capability is critical, especially given that satellites' exposure to extreme temperature variations and their operation across multiple frequency bands. In response to various disasters resulting in tragic loss of tens of thousands of lives, the Chinese government started the Tiangtong Project, a satellite communication system. The purpose of these satellites are to provide universal access to communication services irrespective of socioeconomic status. Very important. This to me is very interesting because that means that all the Chinese people will have access to this technology using those satellites to be able to make calls, actual phone calls, in case of an emergency or disaster. Very interesting. China's advancements in the field are securing their position as a leader in the satellite communication technology globally, heralding a new era where geographic isolation no longer equates to communication isolation. Well, that's kind of the whole concept between Elon Musk, SpaceX, Starlink, right? The idea of your geographic location is not going to hinder your communication, right? I just love that whole idea or that premise. Geographic isolation no longer equates to communication isolation. The same thing holds true with us in the rural communities, right? Where we just simply didn't have access to high-speed internet forever until SpaceX Starlink came around. So this is kind of what he has been doing ever since the very beginning. The difference is, is right now, SpaceX Starlink only has the ability to do text messaging, right, with their satellites. Now, obviously, this is going to change and it's going to get better and it's going to get a lot better. But right now, we do see that the Chinese are more advanced than we are as of today. They are making phone calls without a problem. Okay, they're not only able to do SOS emergency text messages like you see with an iPhone where Apple is in cahoots with their global star counterpart that has those satellites up there that they're using to be able to do these SOS messaging back and forth. So while that's all good, now we're seeing the Chinese are already moved into making phone calls. Now, supposedly SpaceX Starlink with a joint, let's say, effort with T-Mobile is going to provide that access of that text messaging side of things before the end of the year to T-Mobile customers, right? Using their spectrum. That's good, but we're not gonna see phone calls most likely until next year. We're like a year behind the Chinese when it comes to actually making a phone call using a standard smartphone, right? With a satellite. And the thing of it here that really kind of makes me a little bit angry is they're doing it with three geocentric or geostationary satellites 
at 36,000 kilometers in comparison to SpaceX that will have, let's say, 800 or 1,000 satellites at 520 kilometers, maybe closer. So 36,000 kilometers compared to 530 kilometers. I just don't understand how they're able to make this work over there. And we're having a hard time getting this all approved and to go through here. 36,000 kilometers compared to 530 kilometers. This is a big difference. Can you just imagine how sensitive the satellites must be, the Chinese satellites, to be able to hear a signal from a phone, a smartphone, an unmodified smartphone without an external antenna at 36,000 kilometers. This is why I've said in the past, and I've said it many times, the government needs to get out of the way of SpaceX. They need to get out of the way of innovation, right? Because to innovate, it takes not only iteration of what you have, but it takes something new something innovative, something that has not been done before, something that has not been tested before. They need to give them more license to do so. That's my personal opinion. I mean, just recently they said, oh yeah, you can go ahead and test those, what was it, like eight or something, um, satellites with the smartphones, that's, that's great. And now they gave them approval to test the other ones with the up and coming satellites. They'll be going up there in, I think, three or four different regions. I mean, come on already, come on. Get it together. We are falling behind daily. We as a nation are falling behind daily. And when, and when you read articles like this, now obviously this article is not from the United States. If not, they would have spun it probably a little bit nicer for the US. It is from overseas. But you get an idea of what's going on. Now, yeah, obviously you have to take everything with a grain of salt, right? Because this is going to be with a different bias. Everyone has a bias, right? But when they say China's advancements in this field are securing their position as a leader in the satellite communication technology globally, heralding a new era where geographic isolation no longer equates to communication isolation. I mean, that really means a lot. It does. And Huawei has been definitely a major, major part of it. That is the smartphone maker, if you didn't know. It is a massive smartphone maker, Huawei. So anyways, guys, I just think that it's interesting. I want to bring this to your attention because it's something odd. It's not something that you're normally going to read because that's me. I read stuff from all over the place, right? And I found it interesting. I hope you do too. I kind of find it a little bit dis eh, disconcerting also that we're seeing the Chinese moving ahead of us, number one. Number two, they're doing it from a distance of 36,000 kilometers in comparison to us at 530 kilometers. I mean, it's not, I don't, it's not even on the same scale, not on the same magnitude. So I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about all this? Down below, let's have this conversation. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it. I'm out of here for you another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.